Alright, welcome back everyone to another round of Battleship Brawlers. We have a new person to the channel going a million in the left here. Let's bring in a deck cannon ship to the mix of things. Uh, we also have Dragon who showed up again today. I think he uh, he's always on this game. He never leaves. Always brings back this same railfan ship. Um, I do like the design. It is pretty punchy. So, uh, yeah, today we've just got a standard uh, 1.5 mil spending limit five minutes for each opponent to kill each other starting off a little slow not a whole lot of people online today it is currently monday for me i record these try to record them about a day in advance sometimes i get a little bit of a backlog because i do a bunch of games in one day i'm starting to think that maybe i'll start doing um like a backlog of games starting saturday and sunday Right, to collect up a bunch of stuff that I can then post throughout the week because otherwise I have to wait here for a pretty fair amount of time before anybody uh, really joins and it always seems to be kind of the same amount of people you know the people who I'm assuming uh, play this after work or don't have day jobs yada yada you know the the huge but the weekend I feel is probably gonna bring in you know more of a, of a variety of uh, words <laughs> excuse me a variety of players Anyway, we're coming into range of uh, rail fanning, so there's also a lot more rear thrust on this rail fan, I think, than this battleship is capable of. I'm not liking the looks of, uh, of how it's looking for our friend going a million here. Yeah, currently getting pelted. Ooh, yep, there we go. Dragon takes him down. Railfan for the win. Thanks for playing, everybody, and uh, congratulations, Dragon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Same two people. Nobody else has jumped in so far. Dragon is using a missile ship, it looks like. Missile ram kind of thing. I like it. It's even got, like, little prongs to keep people held in place. Looks interesting. Uh, meanwhile, Going a Million has decided to bring the dead... Dread... <laughs> words... Alliteration's hard for me. <laughs> Dread Destroyer uh, Peacekeeper. Seek no contest, of course. I like all the lettering and the uh, paint. It looks kind of like a boat. Um, yeah. We're going to see who pans out of this one. There's uh, quite a few deck guns on here. I feel like a lot of these deck guns are going to interfere with um, the other deck guns shooting capabilities since they're not super like offset or anything so even if he tries to broadside stuff this cannon here is going to be blocked by this one i think yeah it, it might not matter too much especially if he has them on like fire at will and such but uh we shall see it looks like dragon is about to make a drive-by straight past going a million and uh, launch a ton of missiles in the process It's gonna take a few pot shots, but it's gonna go straight into a bunch of armor. Meanwhile, he's getting pelted with just a ton of missiles. I think Dragon is just gonna go in a, a nice wide circle around him. And uh, yeah, just launch a bunch of missiles as he goes. Definitely do like this strategy. Just get a nice speedy ship. Looks like it goes about 50. I think he is turning while he does this, so it could probably go a lot quicker. Uh, and Dragon takes the win! GG's everyone, thanks for playing. Uh, good job, Dragon. Um, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Alright, welcome back everyone to another round of Battleship Brawlers. We have a little bit of a weird match going on. I think it's a 1.5 mil limit on ships, but we have like 1.8 that people are allowed to use. <laughs> Dragon's using uh, the good old Iron Rams that he's used before. Uh, I like it. Meanwhile, Going A Million has decided that two Dread Destroyers are the way to go. Oh yeah, the limit is two ships. And this guy is new. Space the final fro. Um, very clearly a fro guy. He's got a... Well, obviously, the Enterprise. Oh, never mind. Federation Prometheus class. It looks like a Star Trek ship. For sure. And this is... Yeah. I think this is a Klingon ship. 
Yep, very clearly. Uh, meanwhile, it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take going a million to a while to move around anywhere. These are some very slow ships with uh, almost no turn radius whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know what his speed is. Let's check real quick. Oh yeah, a nice uh, 14 meters per second. That's pretty solid. Meanwhile, this one's traveling at 62 meters per second, and it is about to get, I think, absolutely smashed. I would not get that close. The closer you get to those lasers, the more damage they do, because you got more lasers on you. Um, yeah, he's just getting rammed by these, this guy straight down the center right to all of the command decks and that is one ship down for the count meanwhile the Klingon cruiser is uh, yeah, heading straight for its demise I think it's about to get its head completely lopped off uh, oh not quite but it is uh, getting its reactors blown up yeah that whole left side of the ship is completely toasted off that's pretty rough. Yeah. Plus, I don't know how I feel about uh, this thruster setup. The engine rooms, yeah, it's, eh, it's just not it. It's not it. Uh, friendly fire is on, because I think it's hilarious. And uh, Dragon is definitely doing damage to his own ship on the side here. He's probably taking more damage uh, from himself than he has from anything else. At this point, honestly, I would like to see this ram maybe back up just a bit so that it can do a little bit more damage. Oh, never mind. We're, uh, we're getting into a position where we might be able to do something. However, I think he's about to blast himself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, it's not too bad. No, not, not any critical damage. Could have been much worse. Um, yeah, this one... This Klingon guy, yeah, gone. Absolutely gone. <laughs> yep, the friendly fire hurts, Dragon. It does. There's so many lasers in this. I love it. I love it. Um, I do like that it's, you know, it all converges to a point and then fans out from there, making it really hard to do any damage right down that center line. I feel like it's it's a pretty efficient design. Uh, meanwhile, you know, chug a look a look a five miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, these ships, man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the design choice on a lot of this. Uh, you know, like this, this uh, command deck, yeah, it's right up at the front. I do like that it looks like a cargo carrier, you know what I mean? It kind of looks like a destroyer would from, uh, you know, real life. However, uh, I don't think that's really gonna do much good, the uh, cockpit being right at the front and everything. Because he's just gonna, he's just gonna put the lasers straight through your ship. That is a fair amount of deck cannons, but I feel like a lot of them are blocking each other's shots. I think they block... Yeah, see, these ones are shooting off to the side. I don't think they can fire down the center, so unless he broadsides stuff, he's not going to do a whole bunch of uh, damage. And even though he's broadsiding stuff, these two cannons I don't think can reach around these cannons that are facing forward. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how deck guns work. I could be wrong. Oh, he actually managed to uh, take out half of one of these crystal ships. I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, yeah, no, I think this ship is pretty neutered. He's gonna have to wait for the friendly fire to break through and then he's gonna have to rotate his ship to do any significant amount of damage. He still has another crystal ship here at the back, slowly blowing stuff up. I was ragging on these destroyers, but you know, they're actually not doing too bad of a job at this point. Oh, ah, that might be it though. It's hard to tell. I don't know how much ammo is left on these ships. Let's go ahead and look. Oh yeah, this boy is out of ammo. 
so is this one. And I think that spells doom for our friend going a million here. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to... Is this still... Is this missing a cockpit? Oh, it's missing any form of mobility because all four thrusters are, uh, <laughs> are taken out. Oh, these guns managed to get ammo somehow. Where did... Oh, we will never know where they got ammo from because, uh, well, it blew up right as I said that. The circle has closed in. We are now in, I guess, sudden death where... <clears throat> Each player is going to try to destroy the other. I don't think this is considered an active ship anymore. I guess it is 90% damage is the wind condition. So, you know. We're going to have to wait and see. I like how there's just lasers going off in random directions. <laughs> oh, he's figured out that he has to position this sideways, which I think he's doing. Uh, currently trying to do a bunch of damage to this guy. All the ships slowly starting to look like Swiss cheese, um, getting holes punched in them. But yeah, no, a very clear winner here. Dragon, even if these players sat here and didn't do anything to each other, uh, I believe going a million would lose health a lot faster than Dragon would. And there we go. Congratulations, Dragon, on your win, and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Alright, welcome back everyone. Another round with the uh, same little group of guys. We've got Dragon over here in the left. Space the final row up here in the right. And uh, going a million down here in the bottom right. Um, going a million, tried and true. Sticking with his deck cannon slow boy to the end of time. Uh, in the meantime, Dragon has brought something interesting uh his crew his crew ain't, ain't connected to the ship uh <laughs> really don't know how to feel about that that's very interesting he's got a yeah a detonating charge right there that is very interesting i yep He's jettisoned this, uh... <laughs> He's jettisoned the crew quarters. I love it. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks, uh... Looks like a bunch of laser blasters. This is gonna be fun to watch. Alright. Meanwhile, up here, Space the Final Fro has brought a deck cannon cube. I really want to see this thing just rotate at maximum velocity and fire guns like crazy. It's kind of like, you know, I feel like it'd be kind of like a Gatling gun, to be honest. Um, not very fast, though. I hope it rotates faster than it moves. I guess we'll see. Oh, yep, he's starting to rotate. That's exactly what the theory is. I love it. Meanwhile, this thing, traveling at over 100 meters per second, is coming in, and we have shots fired. It's trying to dodge some of the deck cannon fire, it looks like. Taking a few hits to the shield, but nothing too major so far. Uh, yeah, I don't know about you, Dragon, but I would face your, my ship towards him, seeing as how you have so many shields. Uh, probably the move you want to make. Yeah, I honestly don't know who's going to win this. This is... This is interesting. I kind of wish that the deck cannon ship would rotate more. Um, not doing a whole lot of rotation. Oh, he's turned his back to the deck cannon ship. Uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what just happened, but you know, it it makes for a uh, makes for a good YouTube video. So. <laughs> Oh, I guess he was using... He was letting AI take it? I don't, I don't know. Either way. Yeah, Dragon, down for the count this time. Trying out a new ship um, did not work out. But that's alright. You know, that's what we're here for. We're here to test out all types of different ships and see what really is the best of the best. What works, you know? Uh, meanwhile, deck cannons 
wasting ammo over here. I don't know how much ammo this bad boy has. Yeah. I mean, it should be fine, but I wouldn't, uh... You know, I wouldn't push it. Meanwhile, it's trying desperately to run away from the red circle of death. Uh, it's gonna come up against another deck cannon ship fairly soon that actually can't turn whatsoever. <laughs> I honestly think the deck cannon cube is gonna fare much better than this dread destroyer, uh, just because. I mean, it it does have more guns technically. I feel like as long as he keeps rotating, like he should be fine. But yeah, we're now engaging in battle. Shots are being traded on both sides. Uh, one deck cannon has already been destroyed on uh, the Dread Destroyer. The ships are getting very, very close. I'm liking it. I really wish that this, uh, this cube would rotate. That would uh, be very beneficial at the moment, I think. He's not targeting the core, I don't think, so... I suppose it doesn't matter too much, but it would give you more guns to shoot with, more surface area to use. Um, I feel like you definitely need to focus fire on like the cockpit or the reactor, one of the two. Oh, it's... oh, he's just gonna keep rotating. Perfect, that is the strat. I like that strat. I believe the uh, Dread Destroyer is out of ammo. That's what it's looking like. Okay, he's deciding to get closer, it looks like. Oh, I missed what happened there. Was there a fire? Is there fire in this ship? Oh, yeah, it looks like there was some fire. Um, oh, no, I think it's just disintegrating. Everybody's ships are disintegrating. <laughs> it's really hard to tell uh, who's going to win this one with all the disintegration going on. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a very close call. This is, uh, it's going to be painful. All right, going a million. Actually taking the win home. Congratulations, my guy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game of Battleship Brawlers. Going a million decided to quit while he was, hit, while he was ahead and head to bed. Uh, over here in the left-hand corner, we have Dragon. And in the right-hand corner, we have Space the Final Fro once more. The uh, spending limit hasn't been taken completely off, but it has been taken up by an entire order of magnitude. Um, yeah, $15 million allowed for each player and five ships also allowed. We have uh, what looks to be an Imperial Star Destroyer. Uh, a mining station. Okay. Interesting choice, interesting choice. Um, definitely the Starship Enterprise or something similar. Not too much of a Star trek -y fan, nerd myself. Well, I shouldn't say not a fan, but not too much of a nerd about it. What looks to be a Klingon ship, if I am not mistaken. Or maybe that's a Klingon ship. Oh boy. Yeah, no, I, your boy will never know. And over here on the other side, we got a, a nice, juicy Ford Nuke Stick 60s. And uh, whatever this monstrosity is. Oh yeah, illegal ship uh, mode is ticked, so you are allowed to do funky stuff, like put engine clusters inside other engine clusters, no-no zones, and make a stupid fast, um, super heavy ship without too much space taken up. Um, yeah, this is just a deck cannon wall behind a massive cannon wall. This is going to be pretty nuts. Uh, yeah, he was talking about building stuff with modules earlier where he just takes, you know, he's got these, like, engine modules, copy-paste, 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 and then I'm assuming he's just got, like, a deck gun slide and then a cannon slide that he just slapped together. Yeah, so, you know. That's what he's doing. He's got the uh, nuke sticks fanning out um, almost as if they were missiles, like a javelin missile getting launched out and then diving in towards its target, which is what I'm assuming these are about to do. Yep, they're going to go ahead and start making a turn, uh, just, as, just as I would expect they do. Meanwhile, 
this massive deck wall, I think is just what I'm going to call it because it's easy. Huge razor trimmer looking thing almost. I'm not going to say what else it looks like because, uh, you know, family friendly channel <laughs> or something. Uh, meanwhile, all the cannons are starting to fire. It is absolutely insane. Oh, <laughs> oh, the friendly fire. Oof, yeah. Now, if he was going to run that ship, I probably ought to have turned friendly fire off. Um, this fight still... Uh, I was going to say it might go okay, but... Man, that is a lot of deck gun damage. Let's go ahead and look at the inside. Yeah, there's a massive fire breaking out on the inside, and if I am not mistaken... E oh, there are fire extinguishers. Okay, this might be okay. Might be salvageable. We'll see, though. Meanwhile, the nuke sticks... Oh, I missed the detonations. Not gonna miss this one, though. Oh, yeah. That is a lot of nukes. My poor internet connection just got upgraded today, as a matter of fact, and this is running a little bit smoother um, than I thought it was going to run. This ship no longer has a head, but that does not mean that it cannot take this out. Uh, this ship completely obliterated. Uh, the two other halves still firing away at this nuke ship. Yeah, probably going to cause a chain reaction, I think, on that. Blow the whole thing up. Yeah, that appears to be the case. Oh, not quite. It might take the ship out. We'll see, though. Meanwhile, nukes going off all over the place. Oh, nukes getting fired into random places, dealing a massive amount of friendly fire damage, including taking out another nuke stick. That is a bunch of firepower wasted. Oof. Yeah, maybe should maybe should have turned friendly fire off for this one. That's okay, though. I Once again, I think it's hilarious. I like it when people blow their own stuff up. It makes the battles... Just that much more interesting, you know? You'd never really know who's going to pull ahead in these. Is that scaffolding? So confused. Do these just break apart into scaffolding? I guess they do. Oh! It looks like these nukes are getting launched into the mining vessel, and that brings Space the Final Fro down below the 90 percent destruction mark and dragon takes the win ggs